Without fans in the stands or in the parking lot at Gillette Stadium, certain businesses in the area may be staffing up for a big day on Sunday. Restaurants just a stone's throw from the stadium at Patriot Place are open. And they're hoping fans will come out. WBC's Rachel Holt shows us what they're trying to offer. The Patriots are gearing up for their home opener on Sunday as restaurants in Foxborough prepare for a unique year. It's not the, uh, the start of the regular season that we had imagined. Per state regulations, there will be no fans in the stands at Gillette Stadium through at least September, which means business here at Patriot Place will look a lot different on game days. The restaurants rely on that and they're going to miss it terribly. Uh, you know, the numbers will not be nearly the same. They just can't be under safe guidelines. In a normal season, Gillette can hold over 65,000 fans. And local shops and restaurants reap the benefits. Restaurants are at capacity. There, there's probably 30,000 people at Patriot Place. Uh, it's not going to be like that at all. It's going to be a much different environment uh, that you know, we just have to adapt to. And with no tailgating allowed in the parking lots, restaurants like CBS Sporting Club are prepared to offer fans the next best thing. You'll hear the call, you'll experience the sound on these giant TVs uh, that you'll see here. There's a 25 foot here at CBS, there's a 37 foot here outside on the patio. It's absolutely amazing. For now, a view of the field is still possible for some lucky diners. My colleagues in the stadium have done a tremendous amount of work with the state to, to get to the point where fans can come back and can, and can come into the stadium, hopefully after October 1st. And again, we're, we're all working together to make sure we don't have any hiccups here that could be tied back to the property. But these are prime seats right here. You can peer right into the stadium, as you can see behind me, for sure. And see all the six uh, championship banners as well. For WBZ News, I'm Rachel Holt.